Brizo sub goaded no love czar down low the big man in the middle probably the star of the series so far turbo xxl he's been fantastic yeah definitely not easy when you go up against the center like crown but so far he's held his ground let's see what game three has for us in the final of the best of three let's see who takes home the ps5 title as turbo already off the jump he's gonna get a steal to start the game a quick turnover for defiance Splash. nice cut and it's a throw down for sub a monstrous start for gas i agree with esports gas matt in the chat saying yeah regardless of who wins it's been a pleasure to watch both of these teams it's always nice when you get a competitive one down to the wire would it be mad if we saw overtime here in game three wouldn't either crown oh he's gonna get stripped nice job there from czar he's gonna get foul this is kind of the start that gas needed start out hot see if you can get an early lead we're not even a minute into the first quarter here and you've already got two turnovers by defiance hop oh there's a turnover right back there is the potential number one pick zay Ooh, turbo is right in the passing lane claude playing a little pick and roll with his brother crowns open it's an easy two Appreciate the compliment there in the chat. We love calling these games with y'all. Wish we could get you guys to listen in, but we are not able to have that hooked up just yet. But it's been an absolute pleasure calling these games with you as we got a game three here. Good swing right there for Defiance, keeping the ball in front of them. But Gas will keep this one. What are you kind of most impressed about, right? We've seen both of these teams play. We've seen Gliz and Claude kind of turn up at the one-two. What's kind of been most promising or impressive to you or even surprised from both of these teams? Splash, that's going to be a three. I've been most impressed by the playmaking of Splash and his ability to make the people around him better. Uh, I've been really impressed even when his shot isn't falling. He just has a really good ability to actually play the point guard position, but his chemistry with Turbo, I mean, they, they, those two are an absolute duo. They have been devastating this Defiance team so far. No, I absolutely agree. And so far it's been, well, and there's another turnover. Great three. swing. Great job by Zara to come off the corner to play some defense. This gas team flying all over the place to start game three. Uh, remember how I said Defiance needs to play defense? Well, maybe it's the other team, Gas, that's been getting it done on the other side. But it's been sloppy. It's been sloppy. I don't think there's any question about that. Splash. Cuts to the middle. Nothing quite there. Gets to the right side. Shot clock winding down, looking for the wrap from Breeze. He's got to chuck it up. He does. Turbo is not going to get that one. Nice board from Don. When Defiance is back on defense, I want everyone to go ahead and focus in on Crown when he's playing the corner. That man does not stay still. He just has like EDD. He's just moving around, making the point guard guess which way he's going to go, especially on the strong side. I'll remind everyone when we get back on defense like we are here. Just look at Crown in the left corner. Just moving around, trying to get the steal. And, of course, we get a three there. But the man does not stay still, and that's what you want from someone who's playing the corner. Splash starting off hot. He's hit hit first two threes. Nice pluck there from Goaded. Here comes Gas. Crown stopping Turbo. Or excuse me, Czar. We're going to get a quick reset here for Gas. Back to Splash. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. That's all I got to say. Splash man trying to make it happen. Cuts to the middle. Cuts back left. Gets to the mid-range, finds his shot, and hits it. He is on point to start game three. Smart decision there to go ahead and take the midi and not try to go up with the layup or the dunk. Take what the defense gives you. Had an opening there in that zone for the midi, and that's exactly what he snagged. Fans, if you guys want to let us know what you guys think, go ahead and drop a prediction in the Twitch chat. Uh, you can predict who's going to win, get some – Nice rewards and some nice channel points. Definitely go check that out for our Twitch viewers out there. Claude pretty gets to the mid-range. Nothing there. Crown will get the putback. Yeah, pretty sure Ev said whoever predicts the game properly and wins channel points also goes ahead and gets a $1,000 Amazon gift card. So please make sure you DM Ev if you guess properly. <laughs> Splash. Download a turbo. Ooh, he's going to get blocked from Don. Nice recovery there on the pick and roll. Minute 15 to go. Gas is at all the answers for Defiance questions. There's an easy two for Splash. He has been excellent so far. Eight of Gas's 12 points to open this one. 
Not the team that I thought would come out guns blazing here in the game three, but that's what you love about an underdog. Got nothing to lose. Game on the line, putting it all out there. Crown with the easy bucket. Under a minute left to go here. First quarter, game three. Let's see who has the, the chutzpah to close this one out. Well, he's got the badge right now. I'll tell you that. Splash with badge. That's a green 15 to six. A huge first quarter for Splash. He's got 12 of the team's first 15. Yeah, if you're going to be a little bit careful on defines, then you've got to find a way to get back in this one. Not saying it's a blowout already, but you got to make sure you don't let this lead get even bigger. This gas defense flying all over the place. Can Gliz make something happen? Five on the shot clock. Down low to Crown. Nice move. That behind the back still as devastating as ever. Splash has got fans in the chat, and why not? He's been playing really well this series. Been off to a hot start, as you can see, with Badge here in this first quarter. Let's see if he continues it and ends the first quarter on a high note. Shot clock is off. Splash wants the last shot, trying to avoid getting plucked. He's going to cut left. Point guard versus point guard. Mono we mono cuts to the corner. What a pass on the green. Oh, it's an 18 to 8 lead here for gas. And that is how we will end the first. A, a perfect first quarter for gas. And about as poor of a first quarter as you can ask for for Defiance. That corner defender was down there trying to guard it on low block on the center and just didn't even hit a button to try to intercept that pass to the right corner. Great, great pass by Splash. Splash still with badge. He has been locked in. Breezo with the screen. Here comes Turbo to help him out a little bit. Get some space. The shot, that's not going to go. Just rims off the right side. That'll cool him off a little bit. He had to miss the shot to open the game. Oh, that's going to be a pluck by Sub. Let's see if Breezo can make something happen to stop the pass back to Sub. I think they are going to slow things down. They will. No more badge for Splash. Here comes Turbo. Yeah, I like the decision to go in and slow things down as you get a corner cut. A nice read there by Crown to get the steal. Respect the attempt, but you got to respect Crown even more. The One of the best power forward defenders in the entire league, showing off his great lane skills there. Benzo pulling it back, gets to the rim and throws it down. Great fake there by Turbo to pull the defenders out of the paint. Crown was in a tough, tough spot there as he was on the strong side. He was, he was playing two. He was playing the corner and the hash, and by the time the hash defender got there, Crown was stuck and couldn't get the pinch properly from the corner. Claude cuts left. Got it. Nice shot. Makes it 20 to 13. Didn't get the green, but didn't need it. Back and forth we go. Is Crown in the league? Oh, you bet your, your bottom dollar he is. That man is one of the best rookies in the league this past year for Hornets Venom GT. Helped them to the number two seed in the East and to a huge title in the turn. Got some big money off of that one. The biggest tournament outside of the playoffs that the league has to offer. Shot clock winding down. Breeze trying to make something happen. There's nothing there. Has to put up a shot. Free board for Turbo. Great positioning. We're going to get a reset here. Sub. Back to Breeze. Ooh, almost an open shot there. Oh, has the open corner, and he hits him. Nice pass. It's a 10-point lead. When you have your shooting guard making plays like that, ooh, boy, you know you're feeling it. Just giving up some – I mean, that's just incredible. Giving up those corner shots for sure. Claude cuts it back middle. Gets to the rim and throws it down. Puts it back to an eight-point lead. Splash, him and Turbo have been outstanding this series. No, they definitely have played really well together for sure. No question about it, especially Splash and right on cue. <laughs> yeah, the Defiance defense played him for a full. What a block by Sub. That's what I'm talking about with those cockback dunks this year. They're just not going to fly. You're going to get pinned on the backboard. Gliz, the closer. Download a crown over to the corner. That's going to be picked off. Good placement from Breeze. He stayed home. Gas looking for a bucket. It's been a while for them. They played great on defense to keep their lead at eight. Shot clock winding down. They have really grinded down the clock in this second quarter, and that's an easy bucket for a sub. It's a 10-point lead for Gas. What a perfect first half they are playing right now. 
Yeah, I just want, want you to want to go ahead and feel bad real quick for Cloud as he went ahead and was guarding that cut perfectly, but you're just a little too small to guard that corner cut there. The little man down there, rebound for Crown. No corner open, so he's probably going to go with a reset. And nobody's scoring in the post this year. That's going to go out of bounds. Unlucky there for Defiance as Zay dribbles it out. And a little cheeky here. Defiance has to get the offense going or this game three. It's not going to be a game much at all. Splash to the right. Down low to Turbo. Good corner defense oh. and a great play. Oh, he's going to get stolen right back from Breeze. Great rotations, though. That was beautiful. Oh, oh Breeze right is going to get plucked. Back and forth. Him and Don, a little bit of a pluck party. Zay trying to rectify his mistake. He's going to check it back to Claude. Claude cuts middle. Back to Crown. Back to his brother. Claude for three. That's good. That's exactly what Defiance needed. Back to a seven-point game. Smart time out here by Gas, right? You want to go ahead and kind of kill that momentum, especially if anyone's close to badge. 35 seconds left in the second. I'm not mad at it. Still got three timeouts left for the remainder of the game. Thirty-five to go here in the first half. Gas with a seven-point lead. Splash man and turbo. The pick and roll combo of the day over to Breeze. Great three. Oh man, a ten-point lead again for Gas. This backcourt for for Gas Esports has been unreal in Game Three. They definitely have come out swinging here, but hey, it's not over yet. Plenty of basketball left, and you want to make sure when you're going up against pros like you are with some of the players on Defiance, you cannot give up and let up. Keep pushing. Keep knocking on the door. Get more buckets. Get those stops because before you know it, they could come back. Splash for three. That's good to end the half. Oh, a monster half from Splash. Ends with a three, and it's a 31-20 to 20 lead for Gas Esports. An incredible first half from Splash, the best game he has played. 16 points, four assists. He's only missed one shot. An outstanding performance from the young gun. Yeah, the man's got 16 points and shooting, like you said, six for seven, four from five from beyond the arc. And not just that, he's got four dimes in there as well. The best part about it would have been if he didn't have as many turnovers. He's got three, but other than that, he's playing really well. Turbo on the other side, not really doing much on the rebound edge as you've got a five to one ratio with Defiance having the lead on that one. But thus far, 11 point lead for Gas. Who needs rebound? Splash dominating in this game over to Turbo, and he's going to get fouled. Great series so far. Definitely didn't expect to have something this close. He figured one of these teams would have pulled away, but it has been lockstep the whole way. Splash with a bit of a heat check there. Great rebound from Sub, but that's a bad pass. Defines going the other way. A quick foul. Not the best pass there. Sometimes you try to get real nice with it with a pass out to the top of the key for the three, but you got to be smart with it. I'm waiting for the day that the NBA outlaws those transition fouls because, man, it really takes out a lot of excitement. You know when the NBA does it, you know that 2K is going to do it too. So I'm excited to see what the NBA changes about that rule over the next couple of years. Crown down low. Turbo meets him at the rim. Huge block for Turbo and Gas. They're going to go back on defense. Way to get there and meet him on top. That was awesome to see. Claude. Shot clock winding down. Big time shot. They needed that. Eight-point lead now for Gas. They needed that, and they need a lot more from him doing that same thing, but also Gliz doing it as well, right? We talked about them being that one-two punch really well for game one and game two. Haven't necessarily seen it here in game three. Splash over to Breeze. Had an open look, didn't take it. Oh, bad, bad pass, pass. Great read from Gliz. Claude needs a reset. He picked up his dribble. He'll get it from Don. Nice pass to the corner. Zay's going to hit it. Here comes Defiance down to a five-point lead where they went ahead and got that seal on the other end. It looked like he tried to go to the hash, but 2K just dragged him a little bit too close to where he almost gave a high five to his corner teammate, and that's what was so great, and they went ahead and got the steal. Splash over to Turbo, trying to do a little Jokic out of the high elbow, trying to find someone. There's no one there. Splash in the mid-range, looking for something. Over to Breeze. Shot clock winding down. He's got to put something up. He does, and he greens it. Nice shot from Breeze. He has been great in the past two games. Found space. Poor old Claude just couldn't get a contest on that one. Very impressed by this gas backcourt so far. That's going to be an easy two. 
Gas keeping the momentum going, but Defiance coming out of this third quarter, they've been putting up a big time fight. They will not go quietly into the sweet night here. Midnight, 1230 on the Eastern Coast. That's going to be a miss, and we're going the other way. Claude's got it in transition over to the right. He's going to slow it down. The three is there. He passes over to Don, and that's not going to go. Need the green on that one. Yeah, I think Don may have gone full bar that just didn't go in his favor. He didn't get a chance to get a good look at it. Breeze cuts it left. That three is going to go. Whew, that's brutal for Defiance. You don't get the white on your end, and they get it on the other. Back to an eight-point lead. It's kind of like a tug of war, right, where Defiance is trying to cut the deficit down, but then Gas is like, uh-uh, we're going to go and keep the lead right where it is. A lot of back what? and forth here. Claude got lucky there, and it's going to lead to an open three. He got really lucky there. That bailout badge is helpful. I don't know if there he has go. it or not, but who oh man, saved his butt there. Need that type of production from Gliz. Let's see if we get more of that. Playing a basically doubling splash at the top right now. Got to watch out for the corner shooters. Ill-advised pass and defines going the other way. A three would make it a two-point lead, and there's the three, and the lead is cut to two. We got a timeout from Gas. Zay coming alive on the offensive end. Knock, knock. It's Defiance. Knock it on that deficit, looking to take the lead of their own. We talked about how they're pushing to cut the deficit, but Gas was holding away. But looks like so far they haven't been able to do much of it. They won the third quarter in game two, led to a game two victory, and they are winning the third quarter in a big fashion right now. Turbo has been stone silent. No points, only two boards. Splash. Over to Breeze. Nothing there. Gets to the mid-range. He gets deflected <laughs> away. Nice block there from Crown, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Outstanding defense from Defiance, and all the momentum is going the way of the red team. Sometimes as a defender, especially a big man, you have the choice to make in terms of defend the midi or go back to get the rebound. Crown obviously made the right decision there, so he was close enough to go ahead and block that midi by Breezo. They're folding a little bit right now. Let's see if Gas can find some footing. Oh, and you got Claude with badge. badge. Yep. Crown with a reset. Claude looking for an open three, as he always does. Gets to the rim and throws it down. Splits the defense, and we are tied 36 all. Way to find the lane between those defenders there. Part the Red Sea. 100 minutes ago in the third, we might have a, a one quarter series. Maj into the corner. Nothing there. Tries to make some space for Splash. Them grinding down the clock has helped them a lot. Stay in control, and it's going to help them there. A big-time three. Their patience has been outstanding, but sometimes they get to the end of the shot clock, so it gets a little scary. Yeah, Zay just pinched a little bit too much from that hash. It seemed to go ahead and guard the midi, and he ended up paying the price. Claude with badge. Turbo's going to hedge. Doesn't hedge the second time. Trying to keep him out of the paint. That slow walk back over to Gliz. Shot clock winding down. They need a bucket. Gliz for three. That's not going to go. Rebound by Crown. He gets the putback. One point lead now for Gas. Shot clock is off. We're going to be in for a great fourth quarter, Harris, in this game three. Let's see if Gas has another, another run in them here to end the third. A bucket would be huge. Splash. Five seconds in the quarter. Crossover. Gets back to the mid. There's nothing there. And that's going to be a deflection. And we end a one-point lead for gas. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts. Here we go. One quarter for the championship. Gliz, down low to crown. He goes up with it, and that's going to be a bucket. Defiance on top for their first lead of the game. Game of runs, and safe to say, you've got Defiance with that momentum already. But if you're gas, it's not over, right? If you need to, call a timeout. You've got to burn one if you need to just to slow down the momentum a little bit before this game gets away from you. I feel like it's first to 55 is the team that's going to win this game. Going to hold me honest on that one. 53-53, game winner midi by Claude. Got it. That'd be, that would or be splash. thrilling. Again, doesn't matter to me, but we'll go ahead and call it 53-53 buzzer beater. That would be thrilling. Breeze over the left side. That one's not going to go. He said a lot of whites today, so. Figured 2K would get its vengeance eventually. You've got Crown with the glass making, got glass cleaning badge as well. So keep an eye on those offensive boards that you might get, especially by breaking box outs. Zay inbound. Claude. Nice pass in the corner. That's going to be a green. That's a dot and a four point lead for Defiance. 
Turbo just got flat-footed there. Made no real attempt on that steal and just was a little too late with this reflex. Turbo has been great this series, but this has definitely been his worst game. Only two boards, no points. A couple nice steals and blocks, but nothing really to call home about. Getting a little sloppy here, Gas. Got to get it in control. Can this young team find a center? Go to that's not gonna go. Rebound by Crown. Here comes Defiance. A bucket will be devastating. Oh, that's a huge steal for Breeze. He stayed home again. He's had a couple of those where he just won't move in transition. That man just played safety out there. Splash man. Gas needs a bucket. They've gone the past minute without one. Breeze is gonna get plucked, and here goes oh, yeah, Claude. Yeah. He's an open line to the rim, not gonna take it. Looked like he had a man in front of him. He's going to reset back out to the perimeter. Crown is brother. Giving him the screen. One-on-one -on -one with Turbo down to Crown and a big slam. Six-point lead for a defiance. And this gas offense has come apart. They're just killing that pick-and-roll game right now on the offensive end, Claude and Crown are. That's what's been, like, the biggest, you know, difference here, in my opinion. You've gotten 18 points by Crown and Zill, uh, goose egg by turbo not a lot of that patented pick and roll we saw in game one that's gonna be a bucket from breeze three minutes left to go four point lead for defiance in this deciding game three claude back to midcourt nothing there Needs the screen, gets the screen. Passes it to Gliz. The closer gets to the rim and throw. He gets rejected. Big time rebound from Crammel. We're going the other way. A nice strip from Gas. Brizo's with a hot hand. He passes it away. Oh, he passes it back to what a pass <laughs> from Czar across quarter to Goaded and Gas. Oh, what a game. One point lead for Defiance. Yeah, I need to know if that was a openness pass or if that was an icon. Because if that was icon, that's dirty. Claude with a huge three in response and a great back and forth between two teams who clearly, clearly are dying for this win. Yeah, they're trading buckets here, but if you're gas, you want to go ahead and get a stop here. Can't continue trading buckets. Blow for blow. Splashman has been pretty quiet here in the second half. We'll see if he has another big shot left in him. Shot clock winding down. He gets to the mid-range and he hits it. Nice shot back to a two-point deficit. Two minutes. Two minutes indeed. That's going to be out of bounds. Defiance will keep it. Sub got the pluck. Still trying to recover from that ridiculous pass from Czar. Yeah, that was just nasty. Claude is known for his devastating playmaking and three-point shooting. We'll see if, if it's on display in the fourth quarter. Nice pass down low to Crown. Under two minutes to go here. Does Gas have one final run in them is there anything left in the tank no more gas jokes splash to the mid-range gets crowned to pull up and he hits the midi man props to splash he really has balled out here i don't know if it's just the fact that he's got his name so he gets plus four in his attributes <laughs> yes. to get it from splash here or what but he's just played very very well yeah living up to the namesake right now three would be huge here claude back to the right side good defense don oh he's gonna oh, throw oh, it away oh. Nice defense there from Gas, and they're going to call a timeout. That was their last timeout of the game, something to keep an eye on. It was a timeout that they much needed to call, but I don't know why Splash was also gunning down the past the half-court line. Would have loved for him to come back and get the ball and save themselves that timeout, especially in such a close game, and now you've got none. Yeah, I love that call out. Splash, looking for a big shot. Hasn't hit one so far in this half. Shot clock winding down. We're under a minute here in game three. Breeze to the mid-range over to the corner. That's a big-time green. A one-point lead for Gas. Here we go. Who is going to pull out this incredible series? Claude cuts to the mid-range. Nothing there. Down low to Crown. He throws it down. <laughs> Defiance takes a one-point lead right back. You know Turbo really wanted to smack the out of that one. They're giving it to Breeze. He's got to get over half court. He does. That was close. 
gets to the rim and throws it down. Oh, a great move from Brizo. Back to one point lead for Gas. Punch for punch, blow for blow. This has been an incredible game three. Ooh, Don got lucky there. Crowd open under the rim and he gets fouled and the bucket. Oh, a huge turn of events for Gas. It looked like they won the possession, but instead, Defiance goes up by two. We said 55. First one will be the one to win. Let's see if that ends up being true here with Defiance having 55. I may have been one point off. Gas needs a three for the lead, a two to tie. Two second differential between shot and game clock. Breeze over to Splash. He had Turbo on the pick and roll. Splash, shot clock winding down. Has Turbo. He gets him and it is a tie game. Oh, man. 55 seconds left. Or excuse me, eight seconds left. Tie game at 55. This is what you want from a Pro-Am Finals. Does Defiance have the shot? Inbound to Claude. Screen from his brother. Right side. Claude to the rim and throws it down. Oh, he had the open lane and he took it. No This is where that timeout you need. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh, what a terrible boy. inbound. Oh, and that's going to be the game. Oh, a devastating turn of events for Gas. And Defiance wins the 80. Finals on the PS5 side. They don't get the inbound. A big time bucket from Claude. And that is all she wrote. What a series, India.